Hey, this is Todd with Redeeming Dogs, and I've got Honey here. That's the little Cavapoo that I've been training lately. Uh, and she's really a lot of fun. She's a, like a lot of these mid-size poodle cross dogs. She's got very high energy level, uh, never met a stranger, likes everybody. Um, she's not the, she's not outgoing in some areas. She doesn't, like, she doesn't jump up onto things. She's not bold about that kind of stuff. Uh, but she's got a nice little uh, attitude about life in general. Um, let's just kind of do a little work with her and see how she's coming along. So, come on, honey. Come on. Oh. 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 needs, I mean, she's very wiggly, but she needs confidence. And so one of the things I do to build confidence with the dogs, I teach them to climb up on things and kind of maybe move out of their element of comfort. Uh, one of the things I've been working on with Honey is to have her go up and down these stairs back here uh, and, and, and to try to realize that she has more ability than she's, you know, trying to do. So uh, we're going to try that for a minute. Uh, and you'll notice I did a film earlier with Apollo, and he just kind of runs up to the top. Uh, but I'd like to see that confidence that the dog will take on a, an obstacle that I sent him to go do. So, come here, honey. this confident to even climb up this far. So um, as she starts to do more of that, we'll see her confidence increase. Um, okay, come on. Come on. Place. Good. Stay. Ah. Stay. 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 So right now, she's good with me moving away and towards her. She, when I start to circle her, she gets concerned about that and wants to get up and watch me. So, uh, and that's pretty common for where she's at in her training. Ah. Uh -uh. So she got up there. Come on. Come on. Yeah. yeah, Dana. I'm over here, I'm over here filming honey. Right yeah, that's, all, that's all right. You can come out. Yeah, that's fine. Part of uh, you know, part of what people want me to do is to have a suburban dog. Come on, come on. have a dog that's uh, that you know lives in the suburbs and is around people and other dogs. And so part of my training is my are my children. So come here for a second, Dana. So Dana, why don't you just come stand right there and, and face the stairs? Come here, honey. Good girl. And we're just going to walk around you a little bit. Come on, honey. Good job. Sit. Good girl. Come on. Sit. Good. Would you pet honey for a minute, Dana? Good. So what I want is the dog to accept the petting without jumping up and down and getting all excited. Uh, and, you know, I've taken this dog to the mall and had a bunch of little kids petting her. She's done really well. Uh, we want to, It's a fine line because we don't want the dog so excited about the child that it wants to jump all over him. But we don't want him to retreat in fear either. And I think Honey's got a nice mix there. Thank you, sweetie. Uh, the other thing, too, you know, kids are very interesting. And I want the dog to stay with me and not run off after the kids. So, all right. Well, anyway, you got kind of an impromptu diversion, but... Uh, I think it's a good example of some of the things that we're striving for here at Redeeming Dogs when we train a dog. Thanks.